Good morning. I would like to talk about another subject that people still believe in in this world. Um, actually, I forgot to say my name and presentate, presentate myself, but welcome to Toby's Freedom uh, on YouTube where I expose the system for what it truly is. But many people believe there's replacements in Hollywood. And one of the best known one is Paul McCartney replace. I believe it believed at some point of my life I think it was one of the first t things I woke up to. But back then I wasn't really skeptical with alternative uh, story or activism. I was really like taking what I could need, uh, what I I took was, was on the... I took it all and... Um, and that was not so good. And I remember I have many discussions with my family and friends and they got tired of hearing about it. But I quit it. This I quit this story and other ones. There's also a story about Miley Cyrus and Eva Levine and Britney Spears, and so on, and so on. Uh, there's a rumor, uh, a conspiracy, that Paul McCartney died in a traffic accident in 1967. I can't really remember where the place is. But I'm telling you, Paul McCartney is Paul McCartney. He's not been replaced. And people who believe in this nonsense should go back up of the rabbit hole. You've gone too far. Uh, I believe this story and the many conspiracy theorists says there's clues on their albums. I believe uh, now, now, not back then, but now I believe it's some kind of a sales trick for you to buying their albums, uh, Beatles. And Beatles is like, Beatles is like the, the biggest rock and roll pop, soft, soft rock uh, pop band ever. They influence the world with their music. It's like Beatles and then comes Rolling Stones and then Led Zeppelin and Queen and so on and so on and so on. I think Beatles is the most... What can you say? The biggest, the biggest pop band ever that ever lived. And... What to say about that? I mean, it's these replacements is like people don't have any proof or evidence. Um, let's look what it, we have to read what it says on Wikipedia about his so called death. But I mean, if he really died in that accident back in back in 1967 where is the proof there's no paramedics there's no blood <laughs> there's no uh, uh, glass from the w windows in the car I believe there's no eyewitnesses um, there's no death autopsies um, there's a rumor about that he's that 
the imposter uh, the real Paul McCartney is buried on Highgate Cemetery under uh, an, another name and I believe that is silly um, Paul McCartney replacement is like believing in clones and um, transgender in Hollywood and uh, glitches and um, UFOs and uh, Loch Ness Monster and so on and so on. Um, these stories are crazy. They are not read. This is not. This is not a conspiracy. I don't believe it's a conspiracy. I think this is silly, stupid story. I don't know why people want to hear this story because like i said beatles is like the greatest band pop band ever and uh, um let's see what it says about his death I'm not gonna talk about his career in music. I don't give a shit. I don't give a rat's ass. Uh, I mean, people are. It's very strange when you think about celebrities. People want to talk about their fancy luxury life. Uh, and the private life, who they're dating, and so on and so on. But people, when people talk about their death, people are not skeptical or critical. Um, they just want to believe that they died. And that's not good. And I want to show you a picture of what these conspiracy theorists believe. I mean, there's nothing into it. It's really just uh, straightforward. I mean, <laughs> Paul McCartney is Paul McCartney. Um... He's not Billy Campbell or Billy Shears fall. <laughs> He's just Paul McCartney. Look, regarding Paul's dead rumors, Farley outlined the urban legend, then asked, that was um, a hoax, right? Paul responded by saying, yeah, he wasn't really dead. McCartney titled his 1993 live album, Paul is Live, reference to the hoax. I mean, he has, <laughs> he has kids. Wouldn't, wouldn't his kids, I can't remember, I think he has one son. <laughs> oh my god, I mean, can you make this shit up? I used to love this story, I loved it. Um, but it's waste of time and you're wasting your life on this. Uh, shit. 
<laughs> Look, McCartney, 1966, and July. Look, it's completely the same guy. The people are so easy to man manipulate and brainwash, uh, if you can say it in that way. People just want something to believe in, to uh, live their life. Uh, <laughs> it is the same guy. There is no conspiracy here. I'll say it again. There is no conspiracy. Paul did not die in a traffic accident. <laughs> Paul is dead. An herbal legend and conspiracy theory allegated that the English muse musician Paul McCartney of Beatles died in, in 66. But here there's a mistake. It says Ah, okay, okay, 66, and was secretly replaced by a lookalike. The rumor began circulating in 1966, gaining broad popularity in September 1969, following reports on American college campuses. According to the theory of rumor, McCartney died in a car crash, and to spare the public from grief, the surviving Beatles, aided by Britain's MI-15, replaced with a McCartney lookalike. Sub subsequently communicating the secret through subtitled, uh, subtitled details of the albums. Propons perceiving clues among elements of Beatles songs and cover artwork, clue hunting uh, provided infectious, and by October 1969 had become an international phenomenon. Rumors declined after Life magazine published an interview with McCartney in November 1969. The ph phenomenon uh, was the subject of analysts of fields of uh, sociology, uh, psychology, and communications during the 1970s. Uh, McCartney peri uh, parodied the hoax with the title of the cover art of 1993 live album Paul is Live. The legend was among 10 of the world's most enduring conspiracy theories, according to Time magazine in 2009. According to Ter Tony Barrow, who made, who wrote about in his book, John, Paul, George, Ringo and me, the rumors about McCartney's death started circulating in September 1966. At the time, Barrow was the press officer for Beatles and responsible for fielding calls from fans and the media. He began receiving a number of calls from people asking whether McCartney was all right to which he replied he had recently spoken with McCartney. In early 1967, a similar rumor circulated in London that Paul McCartney had been killed in a traffic accident while driving along the MI motorway on 70th of January. The rumors were acknowledged and rebooted in February issue of the Beatles book McCartney had allowed the rumor during a press conference held uh, around the release of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band in May. By 1967, the Beatles were known for sometimes including backmasking 
in the music. Uh, back masking is uh, is rubbish. Um, people think they hear something, but they don't. Um, and this back 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 masking is one of the good back maskings. Uh, there's other stupid uh, back back masking concerning music that uh, people uh, uh, people should not go down that rabbit hole because it's very crazy. Uh, I mean, music is music, and I have a social life, and I like listening to music. So if you really want to go that far, please do not do it. Uh, people think they hear. Uh, Satanic references in, uh, for instance, Led Zeppelin songs. Um, come on, use your fucking brain. Um, analyzing their ly lyrics for hitting meeting had also become a popular trend in the USA. In November 1968, Self-titled LP, also known as the White Album, was released containing the track Glass Onion. John, Le John Lennon wrote the song in response to Gubbly Gook, Gook said about Sgt. Pepper in later uh, interview. He said that he was proposingly confusing listeners with lines such The Walrus was Paul, a reference to his song I Am The Walrus from the 1967 EP album Magically Mystery Tour. In September 1969, Tim Harper, an editor of the Drake Times, Delphic, uh, the student newspaper Drew Drake University in Des Moines, Iowa published an article titled Is Beatle Paul McCartney Dead? The article addressed rumors been circulating on campus citing clues from recent Beatles album including the message imperturbed as Turn Me On Dead Man uh, heard when the white album track Revolution 9 is played backwards. Also, uh, reverence was the back cover of Sgt. Pepper where every Beatle except McCartney is photographed facing the viewer of the front of cover of Magically Mystery Tour, which depends one on unfinished on band member in the different Colored suit from the other three. According to music journalist Meryl Naden, Harper Drake Times death was the first to publish an article on the Paul is Dead theory. Harper later said that it had become the subject of discussion among students of the start of the new academic year and added. Lots, a lot of us because of the Vietnam. <laughs> Here we go. Vietnam and the so called establishment were already willing and able to believe just about any sort of conspiracy. And that's, that's how the media and the, and history and science and all that works. They are lying up in our face 24 7. Um, uh, so, if you said, this, this is just an example, uh, see here. if you said, I don't like to predict. I don't like to predict things. But if you said, for instance, uh, 
if you said, for instance, uh, Runetorn, our famous uh, building in Copenhagen, if you said there was a fire and the media showed you pictures of it, would you believe it? Would you? Or would you be skeptical, critical with the picture? I mean, the media can do everything. Uh, they can make fake CGI, they can make AI, they can make... Yeah, they're pretty much behi uh, behind. Um, so, they're telling us people would believe anything. I mean... <laughs> yes. Um, in late September 1969, the Beatles released the album Abbey Road as they were progress of disbanding. On the 10th of October, the Beatles press officer Derek Taylor responded to the rumor stating, Recently, we've been getting a flood of inquiries asking about that Paul is dead. We have been getting questions like this for years, of course, but in the past few weeks we have been getting them at the office and home and night and day. I am even getting telephone calls from disc jockeys and others in the United States. Throughout this period McCartney felt isolated from his band members, bandmates in his opposition to their choice of business manager, Alan Klein, and discussed at Lennon's private announcement that he was leaving the group. With the birth of his daughter Mary in late August, to see he has kids, uh, McCartney had withdrawn to focus on his family life, uh, on the 22nd October, the day that Paul is dead, rumor became an international, international news story. McCartney, McCartney, his wife Linda and the two daughters traveled to Scotland to spend uh, near his farm in Campbelltown. <laughs> Uh, Camp Belt Town. On 12 October 1969, and, and this year is really in crazy and uh, insane, we have the fake moon landings with NASA, we have a uh, Woodstock cover up story. Uh, <laughs> um, so that was a big, 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 big year for hoaxes and false flags. Um, on the 12th of October 1969, a caller to Detroit radio station WKNRFM told the disc jockey Ross Gip, Ross Gip. Uh, about the rumor and its clues. Gibb and other callers then discussed the rumor on air on the next hour, during which Gibb offered further potential clues. Two days later, the Michigan Daily published a satirical review of Abbey Road by University of Michigan, Michigan student Fred LeBur, who has uh, had listened to the exchange on Gibbs show under the headline McCartney dead new evidence brought to light uh, it intensified vicious clues to McCartney's elaborated death on Beatles al album covers uh, particularly on Ab Abbey Road's lead the Burr later said he had invented many of these. Can you hear what he's saying? The Burr later said 
he had invented many of the clues and was at atronized when the story was picked up by a newspaper across the United States. Noden uh, writes that very soon every college camp of every radio station had a recent expert. WKNR fueled the rumor further with the two-hour program The Beetle Plot, which first aired the 19th of October. This show has been called infamous, a fraud, and a mockumentary. Uh, it brought a glorious worldwide publicity to Gib and WKNR. The story was soon taken by, up by mainstream radio stations in New York area w, WMCA and WABC. In the early hours of the 21st of October, WABC disc jockey Ruben Yoach, I don't know if I'm saying that right, discussed the rumor on air over for an hour being pulled off the air for breaking format. Uh, at that time of night, WABC single covered a wide wide listening area could be heard in 38 U.S. states and at times in other countries. All through, all through the Beatles press office denied the rumor McCartney's a typical withdrawal from the public life compute contributed to its uh, excellence ex selection. Vince Vincesla, a student uh, broadcaster in nineteen sixty nine, said later the exclamation was indicated of uh, come to future influence of Bob Dylan, the Beatles and Rolling Stones, since every song from then starting about late 1966 became a personal message worthy of endless security. Uh, they were guidelines how to live your life. WMCA Dispatch Alex Bennett to Beatles Apple Corps headquarters in London the 23rd of October. To further his extended coverage of the Paul is Dead theory. There, Ringo Starr told Bennett, if people are gonna believe it, they are gonna believe it. I can only say it's not true. <laughs> In the radio interview of John Small at WKNR, Lennon said that the rumor was insane but good publicity for Abbey Road. Hear what they're saying. They're saying in plain sight it's a hoax. Um, on Hollywood Night 1969, WKBW in Buffalo, New York broadcasted a program title. Paul McCartney is alive and well. Maybe which analyzed Beatles lyrics and other clues. The WKBW DJs concluded that the Paul is dead hoax was fabricated by Lennon. Uh, <laughs> well, my theory is this is only a, the a theory. I can't back it up with any evidence approved but all these so-called musicians and actors and politicians and authors and athletes and all these they are little there are uh, puppets on the world stage so they 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 don't decide what to uh, speak out about they're given a script <laughs> Given a script to read off. 
actually there are those who control these puppets who are talented. These musicians or actors, authors, athletes, <laughs> and so on, are controlled by other people behind the facade, um, behind the curtains. Uh, they are the actors. You, I don't. I know that it's very confusing when you say actors, actors. Like actor is a guy or a woman, <laughs> woman or a man who reads off a script. <laughs> um, lyrics. So, but you can call these musicians talented puppets, but um, actually there are fewer, few talent. I mean, they have to have some kind of a talent, but they are not. I don't know how to say it. Um, I mean, they have no influence over what to say, be said in their music, or lyrics, and so on, so on. They are controlled by other people. Um, art is controlled, and those behind the scenes are bloodsuckers, Lusua, um, in Danish. I mean, they don't care. Um, fairy again. These elites, maybe they did care about it back then, but now there's so many uh, famous people. There's so many of them in our time. So now they don't really care about talent. Maybe back then, because Beatles was the first pop rock band ever, but they don't they don't care about talent. They care about making money. So uh, and they decide they decide what what should be in their lyrics and with their music and uh, so on and so on you know what i mean i don't know if i'm gonna read this finished i mean this story is so stupid i can't really take it uh, seriously uh, it is what it is um I'm just going to say up straight again, Paul McCartney is alive, this is a hoax, this is a sales trick, it's fabricated by those behind the scenes, the controllers, the Freemasons, the Vatican State, or the fake Jews, um, I don't know for sure who the controllers are, but this is hundred percent bullshit uh, it's a lie for McCartney is alive he has he has kids I mean oh, can you make this shit up I also been on a Facebook group um, about or McCartney's so-called death. And we discussed, and we discussed, and we discussed, and we never came to a solution. Uh, we were just, we uh, agreed that we can't be agreeing on other, 
on the same subject subject I think I believed it back then but now I don't so Paul McCartney is alive and he did not die in a car crash or he did not die any other way either he's alive and this is a sales trick nothing else uh, so I would uh, stop for now take care bye